Hi, this is Eric Martin with Game Geek. I'm here with Alvin Chen from Ludi Creations, looking at Todd Sanders' Mr. Cabbage Head's Garden Game. Uh, solitaire yeah. design. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Cabbage Head's Garden is about Mr. Cabbage Head, who's somewhat fussy, and all he wants to do is stay in his garden and just plant things in peace, and he's trying to compete for the blue ribbon that's given out each year by the Garden Society, possibly okay. to earn the affections of Eudora Brassica, whom he's always admired from afar. He's a very proper man, but he keeps getting annoyingly bothered by all of his neighbors who stop by, and they ask him what he's doing, and they talk to him about completely droll things that drive him to distraction. So, while he's busy planting things in his garden, Eventually, he's driven to distraction by his neighbors, and he will go on holiday. Okay. And while he's off on holiday, maybe someone will drop by. Perhaps Lord Carrot Body comes along and he says, yeah, my, 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 look at that salsify. It looks, certainly looks delicious. And certainly, Mr. Cabbage Head wouldn't mind if I saved it from the birds who would otherwise eat it. And he will go and take away the salsify. And so you're trying to set up the best garden. Maybe you have to set up plots where your carrots are adjacent. Or maybe you had intended to make a pathway such that you know, the Garden Society can have the most beautiful route. So it's a solo game. You have a number of bonuses that you earn. And it's a kind of a very peaceful game that you play normally. But then you really do feel the frustration of those annoying neighbors who come by and ruin your perfect garden. OK. So. All right. There you go. Mr. Cabbage has a garden.